Hello, um, um well, no, I'm, I'm just saying it. Okay. All right. Hello, welcome to the Brighton Show. Once again, I am at my mom's house. I told you I'd kick up this, be with my sister. But today, what is the topic we're going to be talking about? We are going to be talking about, about fear. How fear We're just going to be talking about fear in general, all right? Yeah. But first, I have a question. Isla, what do you, th- what do you think fears are? What do you think fears I are? I think fears are spots in your mind that can be caused by mostly like um either well like i can't explain kind of like um you take on i feel like fears are things you develop like your mind develops like as we all have like natural fears like the fear of height that's a normal human survival instinct the fear of predators like oh hey my dad texted me hi dad um but so basically you know you're just really doing this but i think that it's like stems from like stuff that happened to you i'm not talking about natural fear i'm talking about like the fear of bugs or whatever like yeah. i have like, i feel like it stems like say like as a little baby or something like a bee landed on you and stung you and you're crying like a little baby like and you probably gain that have a trauma. About that. And you, you associate that thing with pain, and you associate a big, scary, buzzing creak. Dad, can you stop texting me pictures? Yeah, as you can see, like I, what I put here, this is the brain, and then this is the fear. It can be caused by like something happened when you were like a, either a really young child, and it could also be just. You could take um, some kind of medicine. This is what I'm saying. This is my opinion. Yeah, You'd be you be taking some kind want, of medicine, really and it could change with your um, mind, like it does. Look stupid. And you could just like it can develop. Hey, my hair looks good. And the littlest things well, will can get to you. So that's what I say. Oh, all right, now let's let's talk about how do we think the. How do you think you get rid of fears? I mean, like, conquering your fears are easy. Like, you can just face that thing. But I feel like for most people, like, especially if it's if it's associated with trauma, like, if, like, you saw, like, a base, like, you saw, like, baseball game and you, like, got hit by a baseball, I'm sure you get trauma from that. Or, like, poop. You, like, accidentally got poop thing on you by a monkey. Or, like, you saw a monkey, like eat its poop. You you know the story, Isla. Yeah. And throwing it up like... <laughs> yeah. But how do you think an average person who just, just get rid of a fear? I think if it's like trauma, I think you should try to cope with it or try to... Um, like... For me, I'd probably like talk to somebody about it and try to um, try to get ways. But um, I would um, definitely try to do it and keep doing it every day with somebody like you or somebody you feel comfortable with. Yeah, of course. So it keeps on happening, and then you slowly like. I mean, well, now we're on the like, topic of process. Now we're on the topic of trauma. How do you think that like trauma and stuff like? Something traumatic that happens to you, like, sticks to your mind and, like, gives you flashbacks. How do you think that could probably affect, like, a normal day experience? Like, how do you think that would just, like... Like, I feel like you could just, like, see something that would trigger a memory and be like, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That happens a lot. It, yes, um, it can actually... Um, I forgot what you said. Could you guys, like, repeat it in Basically, like, how do you think that, like, trauma affects like, an everyday person? I think it affects people a lot, but they definitely, um, can work on it, and I think it's a thing you can overcome and forget about it, but it's always different for people. That's why you can take medication for it. Yeah, basically, yeah. So but now that we finish off this episode, it's gonna be a nice little crisp, probably five minutes and a half. What are your fears, starting with Isla? And what are some, like, traumatic experiences that led to fears? My fears is um, definitely drowning, and I think you know why. All right, yeah. But, no, let's just tell the stories at the end. So, definitely drowning, and I also have a fear of 
going too far into the ocean because I'm really paranoid about the animals. So I'm just, there's actually a fear where um, the you're water. scared, like, what's under you. Yeah, the fear of the ocean. Yeah, what's under you. All right, now time for my fears. Um, I'd say my fears are 100% like my biggest fear. Bugs. I I have a dying fear of bugs, and I'll tell the story why. And I also a second very big like Okay, better lighting. Oops. Whoa, better lighting. Oh no Why would you do that? Ooh. Okay. Alright, better lighting. But another fear of mine is definitely probably the fear of always being alone. And I'll explain now. But first, I let you tell your story that caused this. Okay, fear. so this is probably gonna be good. I I already noticed fear. The of um fear of drowning was because we went swimming one time with my brother, and we got took away by the waves and everything. We tried, we couldn't. Yeah, but how the story basically happened was if you want a nice little brief explanation. Me build Lego boat and we wanted to see how yeah, far we like, if the waves how, could. No, we wanted to see how far the boat could go. And we it were was just following it, it and it far. went really far. And a guy jumped into the water with his clothes on to save us. Yeah, we would have been dead. Very if that big buff happen. man. I feel like that's probably gonna influence my sexuality when I get older. Big what buff the man. Hell? Okay. And and the other one is is how I'm scared of what's under me is a lot of research. And watching like shark attacks and yeah, watching video and going to Sea World, seeing eels, stingray. I mean, always like seeing, looking up for the bad things is always. And because I'm scared of going in deep waters, cause like because of the drowning story, everything comes together. I mean, to I mean, things. I feel like that whole experience was made better after we had the donuts after it. Yeah, mm, that donut was good. All right, so now my fear of bugs. So this happened to me when I was in around fourth grade. Yeah, but I was a very big soccer kid, definitely. I played soccer all the time, but I sucked ass. Like, I couldn't do anything right. But, I mean, I got a couple scores. But when I was running, it was a nice, like, crisp, mm -hmm. almost summer. It was hot out, so that means the bugs are coming out, especially the dragonflies. And there were tons of dragonflies just flying above the field. But they started going under after, like, the sprinklers got turned on. And I was running... And I had, like, a jacket on that was slightly open because it was broken. It, like, would sometimes open up. And when I was running, a dragonfly flew into my jacket and went, like, over here. So it just kept buzzing. And I did, I the fact of, like, the wings vibrating and, like, the loud sound, the brrrr. Yeah. It, it very traumatized me. I ended up crying right after. I ran to the bathroom and started crying. That's definitely how I got my fear of bugs. There's tons of other stories of me getting, of me stepping on bugs and... It's stinging me. Also, probably Dad stepping on that snail, and I saw its insides. We were playing with the snails, Dad. You <laughs> saw we were. Stop. Okay. And also, my okay. fear of being alone. It's just a genuine fear of just. Cause I don't yeah. like. What if like when I'm like home alone, you guys are all like in a car and or something, like, then they all of a sudden die, and I'm just I'll ne I'll have no way of telling if you guys are dead or not for like a couple hours. Yeah. Until like a police comes or something, or maybe they just won't. But yeah. I'll never basically know, and I just don't like the fear of forever being alone. But here's a little message for you guys before we sign off. In the end, when you die, we all die afraid afraid and alone. We all die afraid. We all died afraid and alone. Well, okay. I hope you like the Brighton Whoa. show. Well, okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> Brand